Hello friends, in this video we will implement stack using linked list. As we know stack is a data structure which follows leaf 4 that is last in first out method where the element which is stored last in the stack that is the element at the top will be accessed first and both insertion and deletion takes place at the top. A real world example would be stack of dishes. Now when we implement stack using array, we create an array of predefined size and we cannot increase the size of the array if we have more elements to insert. Also, if we create an array of very large size, we will be wasting a lot of memory space. So to solve this, let's try to implement stack using linked list, where we will dynamically increase the size of the stack as per the requirement. Now I would recommend that you watch the series on linked list before moving forward with this tutorial. So as we know, linked list is a linear data structure, which is made up of nodes connected together by pointers where each node has two main parts, the data part and the link part, where the data contains the value to be stored and the link part contains the address of the next node, where each node is created dynamically. So using a linked list, we can create a stack of variable size and depending on our need, we can increase or decrease the size of the stack. So now let's see how we will implement stack using linked list. Firstly, let's create a stack and insert the values 1, 2 and 3. Now as we know we have a top pointer which always points to the topmost element in the stack. So now let's try to create the same stack using linked list. So as we know that while working with linked list we have a head pointer which always points to the starting of the linked list and initially when the linked list is empty the head pointer is null. Now as we are implementing stack we can simply use the head pointer as the top pointer. So we can simply call the head pointer as top. Now we have to insert our first element in the stack that is the element 1. Now inserting an element into the stack that is the push operation will be similar to inserting a node at the starting of the linked list. Now as I have explained before in a previous tutorial, to insert an element at the starting of a linked list, firstly we create a new node using the new operator and return its address into our temporary pointer ptr. Then in the data part of the node we store the value and in the link part of the node we store the address of the next node and then we move our top pointer to the newly created node. So let's insert the first element in our stack that is the element 1. So we create a new node let's say it is at an address 100 in the memory which is stored in our pointer ptr which means that ptr is now pointing to this node. Next we will insert the value 1 in the data part of the node and we will make the link part of the node equal to top that is null as it is the first node that is being inserted into the linked list and finally we will make top equal to ptr that is top is now pointing to the newly created node. So now let's push the element 2 in our stack. So again we repeat the process and firstly we create a new node let's say it is created at an address 400 in the memory and we return this address to our pointer ptr which means that ptr is now pointing to this node. Next we insert the value 2 in the data part of the node and we make the link part of the node equal to top that is it has the value 100 which means that it is pointing to the previous node. And finally we move our top pointer to the newly created node by equating it to ptr. Now in this representation as we can observe the direction of our stack is from right to left where our top pointer always points to the element which is recently inserted in our stack that is the topmost element. So now let's insert the last element that is the element 3. So we create a new node let's say it is at an address 300 in the memory and this address is returned into the pointer ptr then we make the data part of the node equal to 3 and we make the link part equal to top that is it now has the value 400 which means that it is pointing to the previous node. And finally we move our top pointer to the newly created node by equating it to ptr. Now let's see how we will perform a pop operation on the stack that is deleting an element from the top of the stack. So while implementing stack with linked list the pop operation will be similar to deleting a node from the starting of the linked list. For that we again take a temporary pointer ptr and we equate it to top that as it points to the first element in the linked list and then we move the top pointer to the next element in the linked list by equating it to the link part of the first element 
And finally, we delete the current node using the pointer ptr. So suppose if we have to pop the element 3 from the stack, then we will create a pointer ptr and equate it to top. Then we will make top equal to the link part of the first node, that is 400. So now top is pointing to the second node in the linked list. And now as we have adjusted the top pointer, we can delete the first node using the pointer ptr. So now our stack only consists of two elements that is 1 and 2 and our top pointer points to the element 2. Similarly, if we have to pop another element from the stack, we will take a temporary pointer ptr and equate it to top. Then we will move the top pointer to the next node by equating it to the link part of the current node. And finally, we will delete the current node using pointer ptr. So in this way, we can implement stack using linked list and perform the push and pop operation. Now let's see how we will implement all this in C++. So we start our program by including the header file iostream and using the standard namespace. Then we create the basic structure of our node which consists of an integer data and a pointer link of type node. Then we create our top pointer and initialize it to null because initially our linked list is empty. Now one by one let's implement the various stack operations. Let's start with the isEmpty function which returns true or false indicating whether the stack is empty or not. And as we are implementing stack using linked list, we know that the linked list is empty when the top pointer is equal to null. So if top is equal to null, we will simply return true, else we will return false. Next, let's implement the push function which takes as argument an integer value that is the element to be inserted in our stack. For that we will firstly create a new node using the new operator and we will return its address into the pointer ptr. Then we will insert the value in the data part of the node and we will make the link part of the node equal to top and finally we will move our top pointer to this newly created node by equating it to ptr which means that this new node is now the starting of our linked list and the topmost element in our stack. Next we will create the pop function in which firstly we will check if the stack is empty or not and if the stack is empty we will simply print that the stack is empty else we will create a pointer ptr and equate it to top which means that it will now point to the topmost element that is the starting element of our linked list. Next we will move the top pointer to the next node by equating it to the link part of the current node. And finally we will delete the current node using the pointer ptr. Now let's create the show top function which will display the element at the top and in this also firstly we will check if the stack is empty or not and if the stack is empty we will simply print that else we will display the element at the top using our top pointer and inside our main method we can call these functions to perform various operations on our linked list. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. 